Welcome back, everybody. As you know, it's Black History Month, and the last year has certainly been filled with black history. The Black Lives Matter movement and protests against police violence have made a push for meaningful change. And they've also made many white Americans realize how much of the black experience we still don't understand. Well, thankfully, we here at The Late Show have an expert in not understanding things. Her name is Bootsy Plunkett, and she's the wonderful mother of one of my field producers, Jake Plunkett. She is also The Late Show's official uninformed correspondent. Bootsy has used her unique and uninformed perspective to cover everything from international trade wars to the spread of the coronavirus. And recently, Bootsy wanted to get less uninformed about systemic racism. So Jake took her to meet with Congressman Jamal Bowman, who represents New York's 16th district in the Bronx. After a tumultuous year of racial unrest, I wanted my mom to get more informed on racism in America. So I took her to the Bronx to talk with newly elected congressman and official member of the squad, Jamal Bowman. Uh, so you have a bunch of things you want to ask Mr. Bowman. Oh yeah, I said all lives matter once and I got in so much trouble for saying that. Yes. Someone is... screamed at me. You should talk to him about it. All right. Do you want to do your stand up now? Sure. First take. Okay. Hi. Wait, I'm not out of the shot yet. Okay, go, okay. Get out then. Three, two. Hi, this is Bootsy. I'm here with A Late Show with Stephen Colbert to interview Jim. No. See, I. No. Ah! F my life. I know. Some Every time you come bitch. up, I love it. You're doing a beautiful job, Mommy. Hi. Hi, Stephen Colbert. Oh, yeah. That you got a fan. I got a fan. <laughs> All right. Should we go again? Yeah, is your head going to be able to fit through that door? Shut the f up. Hi, this is Bootsy. I'm here with A Late Show with Stephen Colbert to interview Jamal Bowman about Black Lives Matter and to find out if I'm racist. Hi, Jamal. I'm Bootsy. Hi, Bootsy. Nice How to meet you. you. It's too. a pleasure. Pleasure to meet you also. Now, I just want everybody to be happy, everybody to be safe and all that. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, all lives matter. And I was uh -oh. told, no, 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 uh -oh. no, no. And I really didn't think I said anything yep. terrible. Mm -hmm. Explain to me why I said something wrong. So all lives can't matter until black lives matter. Okay. And the reason why we have to say black lives matter is because black people continue to be killed disproportionately at the hands of the police who are supposed to serve and protect us. Police are not above the law, right? So if they break the law, they should be held accountable. So I'll tell you my experience. Somebody backed into my car and smashed the door. So I called the cops because I had to make an insurance, you know, mm -hmm. to get it fixed. Mm -hmm. So when the cops got there, they, we changed the stuff, you know, the things, and they said, your car ain't registered. Mm. They said, get all your stuff out of the car. We're gonna impound your car. Mm -hmm. I only live two blocks away from the bank. Yeah, yeah. So I turned around and I told them, your mother did a really poor job with both <laughs> of you officers. I am an older woman, it's 105 degrees out, and now you're making me get out of my car and you're towing. There's no need for this. Mm -hmm. So one time, yeah. I, I was pulled over yeah. on a grand concourse in the Bronx because apparently I didn't use my, tur my turn single, right? Was pulled over, gave them license and registration and insurance. Mm -hmm. They told me my insurance was expired. They took me out of the car, put me in handcuffs, and took me to the local precinct, the jail in the local precinct, where I stayed for about five or six hours before they let me go without seeing a judge or anything, right? So your car was impounded, which is a huge hassle. It's like a big deal, it's terrible. Right. But, you know, you weren't put in handcuffs. No. You weren't taken yeah. to jail. No, you're right. You were allowed to go free. And, and it's the little things like that that happen each and every day to black and brown people in this society. Absolutely. It's like death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. And the worst part about it is we begin to internalize this inferiority about ourselves as we exist within this country, you know? And it, it's so unfortunate when you look at 
healthcare, housing, education, wealth, when you look at the disparities, African Americans and people of the Latino community are always at the bottom. And it's because of this institutional and structural racism that lives in the mind of people right. who make our laws and the minds of people who work within our institutions. Having learned about the systemic problems afflicting communities of color, my mom wanted to find common ground the only way she knows how. What's your favorite song? Oh, I don't know. Um, favorite song? So I'm a big, I can tell you some of my favorite artists. Okay, okay can I do that? Sure. So um, Karis One, uh, Eric B and Rakim. I only um, know some songs being on the radio. Cardi B, Mop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate to say that I'm going to be 62 in March. Okay. I freaking love that song. My web ass. It's one of my favorite hip hop songs of all time, by the way. You love it too? I love the song. It's, oh one, my of my, God. it's one of my favorite hip hop songs of all time. First of all, I love Cardi B. She represents the Bronx. With that little thing wiggling down my throat and truck. Back it up and No, I love the song. It's one of my favorite songs. My wife and I love the song. My wife introduced me to the song, you know, and I think it's improved our love life, as a matter of fact. Going forward, what can I do as a person to help change the situation? What we're going to need is what we call co-conspirators. So it used to be called white allies who are speaking up for justice for black people and all people. Right. But we call them co-conspirators because we need people to really step up and be allies with us right. and pushing back against a system that is harmful to us. Exactly. So will you be my co-conspirator? I sure will. Let's do it. <laughs> bum, bum. 369, damn your fine. Suck it to me, suck it to me one more time. Get it low. Yes. Get... That's Lil Johnny. To the window, to, to the, the wall. wall. Yes. Till the sweat runs down my b That's right. <laughs> <laughs>